for about two weeks, smoke has been filling the air here after that fire erupted here at A&M Compost. And a lot of people that I spoke with, they aren't really bothered about everything that's going on. They're most bothered about the noise and the smell. Yeah, it's like, what the heck's going on? And then, I, and then you look out back and everything's smoky. Fire Chief Shannon Martin says about 12 days ago, a truck slammed into a utility pole, which caused the composting facility to lose power for 36 hours. Material inside started to overheat, which caused the fire. We have runoff, uh, so we're trying to contain as much as we can inside the building, which is a challenge. So if we can keep it in there, that's good. Since then, hot spots inside the building have led to smoke and strong odors filling the air. Officials with the Department of Environmental Protection have been on hand checking air and water quality. There's no, no environmental danger. The compost process doesn't create a environmental air pollutants type situation. What it does, composting does generate odors. The facility takes municipal sewage treatment plant waste, combines it with wood chips to make fertilizer for farms, landscaping projects, and golf courses. Without the proper ventilation and the aeration, the piles can heat up and one of the piles started smoldering. Residents like Jim aren't bothered by the extra traffic involved in getting resources in to put out the fire. But when it comes to the noise. That's a different story right there. Yeah, all the trucks coming in and out. Yeah, that's, that's a different story. And Jerry, fingers crossed that this is it. Things have been clear for the past couple hours now and crews have pretty much cleared the scene. And Jeremy, I understand the fire chief says this may have been preventable. Yeah, so the thing about that, Jerry, a spokesperson says that, well, a spokesperson for the owner of the facility here says that they aren't required to have a generator, but the fire chief says had that generator been in place, it could have prevented this fire from happening. All right, Jeremy Jake is reporting live for us tonight. Jeremy, thank you.